Hi, so I'm Cynthia and this is my uh, lockdown video diary. So I'm gonna explain to you how my life has been during the lockdown. So my life has changed quite a bit since the start of the lockdown in the UK. So uh, before I used to go to university every weekday and um, attend lectures there. When I would be done, I would come back and do my work, or my university work, and sometimes go like drink coffee with friends and um, and things like that, like uh, a little bit going out to the meadows, etc. But ever since the lockdown started, obviously those things um, have been a little bit disrupted. So uh, now what what my life is is basically I wake up quite late, later than I used to when I was at university. Uh, I wash my face, get ready, do my makeup and have breakfast. I no longer have lunch because usually I wake up too late, so 9, 10, 11 o'clock sometimes, uh, which is not that good. So uh, after that, I usually do a bit of administrative work and uh, like revision work and uh, hobbies sometimes. Uh, talk to friends on, on, on some video uh, call apps. So that... That's like the fun part of the day. Then uh, I make my dinner, uh, go a little bit on YouTube, and then uh, then go to bed. Sadly, not as early as I would like to, but um, it's not as bad as it could have been, I guess. So it's usually 11 o'clock to midnight, which is uh, which is later than I used to when I was at uni. Um, so definitely the hardest part of the lockdown for me has been the lack of people around. So... Ever since uh, the lockdown like was considered and the coronavirus pandemic was getting worse, all of my friends, which used to be in my flat, have left. So I've been alone for like a month uh, and, and a few weeks. Before it was just me and a friend, and uh, before that, like there were more people, but it we just like they kept going as time went by. So it's definitely one of the most difficult bits for me. Um, I, I definitely miss having people around. So. Um, yeah, so I, I try to compensate by calling people. Uh, also as well, uh, trying to like trying to do new things has been really helpful for my mental health. So I've tried to uh, practice my Japanese daily uh, because before I used to uh, to practice it, but it's more sporadically than uh, than regularly. So this has kind of helped. I feel I feel a good sense of accomplishment when I do it. Um, more uh, in addition, I've also been doing some exercise um, every two days. So I try to do some stretching to like keep my body flexible for the sports I used to do in university, which were gymnastics and cheerleading, um, and some cardio to just stay healthy. So star jumps, squats, and um, all that fun stuff. Um, I've been working from home, so I've basically started my job after the pandemic. So um, I'm, I'm now working in the customer service on the phone. Uh, some parts have been quite challenging. I, I, I shouldn't lie about that. So uh, the, the, big, the biggest challenge was probably like setting up all the IT and computer things. Um, when, when I started, and there were a lot of IT issues, and uh, some, because of lockdown, I couldn't click. Like, have someone next to me trying to help me fix those. So it was a lot of like emails and Zoom, which was not as um, as handy as uh, as having someone next to you. Uh, in terms of bright spots of the lockdown, there haven't been that many. Uh, not gonna lie, I've been quite happy with myself for um, having tried all those new things. Uh, but apart from that, it's been quite difficult, and I've uh, been waiting for it to end. And I'm quite happy that has been relaxed now. But, um, bit skeptic that it's the right time for it. Maybe it should have been done a bit later. Um, so uh, as mentioned before, there's no one in lockdown with me, so I'm pretty lonely. So yeah, this concludes my uh, lockdown video diary. Thank you for listening, and I hope this satisfies your expectations. Thank you.